thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Why I Love Flagler County, your local podcast spotlighting local businesses and local residents on what they love about Flagler County. So today I'm super, super excited because I have, I mean, I have an expert on so many things here in Flagler, but also this type of business with podcasting and news and all those great stuff. So Crystal, thank you so much for the time today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Of course. Well, I'm super, super excited for this. This is going to, I think, be a fun one because, I mean, you have so much vast knowledge when it comes to Flagler, when it comes to what's happening in the community, given the nature of what you do. So we'll start off really simple and just you tell me a little bit about your journey coming here to Flagler, uh, being here to Flagler, and how's that been for you? Uh, Okay, so I came to Flagler about eight years ago. Um, We previously lived in Dayton. Daytona, so Volusia County, and we had moved to Daytona from Oregon. Um, So I've made quite the journey from one coastline to another. Um, And over the years, it just kind of made sense to leave Daytona, which was a little bit busy. It was more big city. It was a lot of crazy. And we liked what Palm Coast was and Flat. Flagler County, it was quiet. It was a little more isolated. It didn't seem to fall into the same busy trap that St. Augustine and Daytona fall into. So we opted to purchase a house here. So in 2016, my dad and myself and um, my two kids at the time, we bought a house up here and we've been here ever since. That's great. I mean, yeah, I know I come from all the way up north. So I'm also on like the polar opposite of my spectrum being down here as well. Um, But yeah, we we definitely have compared to St. Augustine and Daytona. I talked to a lot of people who have, you know, lived up in St. Augustine, lived down there in Daytona, lived up there in Jacksonville. And that's a change coming here as well. Um, So you know a lot about Flagler. You know, it's been eight years, which in my opinion is like you're basically a veteran at this point. Um, But (laughs) not quite, but working on it. (laughs) And to me, you are. You're I'm going to put you as the Flagler veteran. But no, but still, uh, because of with you with the buzz, I'd love for you to talk a little bit on going down this route. And how did you know that this was something you wanted to go down? And just tell me a little bit about that story. So the Flagler County buzz came into existence. Um on the beach at a homeschool event. And I have to back up just a little bit to give some background how I went from, how we got to homeschool mom from being single mom. Um, My husband had moved up to Palm Coast in the same year that I did. We did not know each other then. He moved up here from Miami. So huge change for him. And he had come with his three kids. And we met and got together and I went from two to five kids and then COVID happened, which, you know, shut everybody down. And when I saw how the kids were in school, I opted, we decided to make the transition from public school to homeschool. And I decided I would not go back to the traditional workforce. Um, So like any person with a horde of children, I needed to get them out of the house at least once a week and out of my hair for a short period of time. So I had started a homeschool group and that's where I met my friend, Kim Hunt, who is also my business partner and our children became, you know, best friends. Our husbands hit it off and became pretty close friends. And we did as well. And it was the summer of 2022 and we were sitting on the beach talking about the elections in Flagler County and um, how hard it was to find decent local news without having to really dig down and go search in super hard. And, she goes, well, I did go to school for journalism at the University of Tennessee, and uh, I was actually pre-law at the time, so I was headed to law school, and we decided that um, we were just going to throw our hats in and decided to start our business, yeah. and we've been going strong ever since. Yeah, that's awesome. And I think a lot of people kind of know a little bit about the Flagler County Buzz, but just really quick, what's a quick snapshot on what is it that you guys do and how do you help the community with that? Sure. Um, So Flagler County Buzz is uh, Flagler News. We are unbiased, factual. We don't put any opinion, any spin, any anything in there. It is strictly Flagler County News. We do not talk about anything that happens outside of Flagler County. So we are 100% devoted to our local area. 
Um, we don't get into St. John's, Volusia County, Putnam. Um, we, we, the only thing we cover that has to do with anything state related is when we're talking about politics and we're talking about maybe our state representatives that represent us right here in Flagler County. Um, that's as close to anything outside of Flagler that we get. Um, but we cover everything from events, um, features, positive news, uh, business features, community features, charities, to politics, city meetings, school board meetings, county meetings. We yeah. cover it all. That's great. And I, I love the, obviously, it's really important when it comes to news. And I think the integrity of news, and I'm not talking about anything nearby, I'm just talking about in general, nationwide, international wise, it's um, the integrity has gone down just a little bit because of people have their agendas and they want to spread it. And that's, that's up to what that is. Um, but having something so local in their backyard, it's like, okay, this is, this could be my neighbor, right? This is something that's going to affect me, my friends, my community, my family. And it's important to know the things that's going on because it's so easy to be like, oh, I don't want to look down there. I don't know what's going on. It's too much work. It's a lot. Um, but having something like that, like you guys to just be like, hey, this is what's going on. This is all you need to know. Maybe this might you might need to learn on how it affects you and what you can maybe do about it if you want to do something about it. Um, so that's great that you guys have come together and put something together for the community. How long have you guys been around? I don't think um, I asked that. Before. Um, we officially launched our website and started um, getting out there to get news stories in September of 2022. So we are wow. still pretty new. Yeah. Um, we just passed our one year mark. We're headed about halfway into year two. Um, we're growing. We've done it all organically. I've done a lot of networking, a, a lot of networking. Yeah, that's how we know each other. I forgot to mention the beginning, but yes. we, we've seen each other here and there at all these networking events because it's it's really great. When you start going to a lot of them, you start recognize people really yes. quickly, you know, especially when you go back to I, them, I saw you the other day. I, saw you there. I am what some people refer to as a serial networker, so I am... <laughs> always out and about trying to be everywhere that I can humanly possibly be and that's great especially because the community given that it is so tight-knit it's it just makes sense to keep showing up so people know your face they can recognize it and it's not just like oh this is some person who comes in here and there they're kind of just visiting in the corner um it's someone who's active and there but also contributing because I know that you give a lot to these groups as well you're not just sitting here and taking 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 you're you're giving you're having it it's reciprocal as possible so I think that's a huge hats off to you it's not easy to do that you know <laughs> what I mean yeah. um, I know a little bit but I mean given the fact that you guys do have the flag of county buzz you also do some photography on the side if you want to yes. mention that really quick a huge shout out to that yes I do I also because a, a lot of those uh a lot of that equipment is already purchased and used in the buzz for our video and our photography. So both myself and my business partner are also photographers and I also do videography, obviously. Yeah, love that. I know that we could talk about that for a good other yes. 15, 30 minutes as well. Um, yeah. But I, I'll make sure I have all the information for Crystal and how to contact her. If you're interested in learning more about that side of the business as well, I'll have that information in the description so people can check out. They can go uh, look on that and contact you if they have any questions. Um, okay. Really quick, before you wrap up as well, it's perfect question to ask you. What would you recommend for us newbies of Flagler? Maybe places to go, events we can go to, groups we can join, anywhere to kind of get active with the community, kind of put themselves out there, become our own serial networkers. Um, okay, so for just your average person that's new to Palm Coast looking for the different events, um, I always recommend, obviously, check our calendar of events on the Flagler County Buzz, but also look into... Um, events for that are put on by the city the city has a community calendar as well so their calendar has stuff that isn't just them you can get all of the different events that are put on there are tons of events flagler county puts on a ton flagler beach puts on a ton it's a little harder to get the the event list from flagler beach but it is possible um I always recommend going to all the different municipalities' websites and checking out their calendars and their upcoming events on social media. Um, they usually do a pretty good job of listing them all out there. 
and, and yeah, that's probably the biggest one for events. And for networkers, there's a ton of different groups. You've got things like Bold Ladies, Professional Women of Flagler County. You've got the Palm Coast Regional Chamber of Commerce, um, a couple of BNI groups. Um, you've got the Tiger Bay Club, which is huge. I just joined that last week. Oh, um, awesome. So there's a lot of different ways that newbies can get connected depending on what they're looking for, whether it's for business connections or they're just looking to get out into the community. You've got Facebook groups like Ladies of Flagler County for those ladies looking to make connections out there and check out some of the local businesses. There's a ton of small mom and pop shops out there from restaurants to wineries to boutiques that can give you a ton of great service and great products. Yeah, there's so many out there, especially because a lot of them do host their own mini events as well. Definitely make sure you keep your eye out. A lot of them have posters for local things that are happening. I know I was just at Flagler Beach yesterday and um, uh, I mean, it's bike week right now, um, but a lot of them have live entertainment. I was just at Sun Bros. They have live entertainment on Fridays. So there's just so much to do. And I think it's one of those things like you can check out those calendars, which I didn't even know you could check out. So th that's that's something that I learned as well. And I, that's why I I love that question because it's kind of my own selfish question. Of, I love to know what's going on. Where should I go next? There is so much to do. Um, so start start somewhere. There I is. And I do have to say. Mm -hmm. I do have to say that um, we do live on a coast for um, the, the Hang 8 dog surfing contest that will be coming up soon. Yes. Um, you've got the, you've got a couple of surf competitions that start up in May and they usually typically run through the summer. So um, Surfers for Autism comes out and has an annual event here. There's a ton of fun beach events like that that go on. And Hang 8 is one of my favorites because who does not like to see dogs surfing? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I learned about this like a few months ago because someone just randomly mentioned it and he didn't know a whole lot. Like he just happened to be on the beach. So I was like, tell me more. He's like, I don't really know more. I was just kind of there at the good, at the right time. And then I kept asking people on the podcast. That was my question. It was like, hey, have you heard of the dog surfing? And after like maybe 10 people there, someone's like, yeah, I know all the information. I was like, perfect. And that's what yes. I love about connecting with the community. So I'm glad you brought it up again because it's it's coming around the corner now. It, yes, it was a it'll little be here while very out. soon. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. It's in my calendar. I'll be there. I hope to see all you all there. I hope to see you there as well. Uh, so Crystal, thank you so much for coming out, spending a few time with me. I really appreciate it. This was super fun. And you just have so much knowledge about Flagler. So you have to come on and talk a little bit more about your photography at a different time. So thank sure. you so much. This was awesome. Thank you. Of course. And to everyone listening, I really appreciate you as well. And I will see you next time. Bye.